about. Morning again. So we've had, um, like I say, a fantastic night along that road and in the park. Up. It was really quiet, just that little uh, babbling stream behind us. Absolutely tremendous. I say we, we had about 12 hours sleep. That was me, Alison, and the dogs. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, definitely a good one. Um, we're now back in the van. Um, had a nice clean and spruce up. Um, yeah, if you're actually wondering what drying your hair at 50 mile an hour out of a van window looks like, that's it. <laughs> but it feels good. Yeah. And if you're wondering what uh, not drying your hair looks like, it's this. So, really good. Anyway, we're now off to Glencore. Um, We've seen bits and pieces in, in books and on YouTube and things. Um, obviously, we're not we're not planning on going skiing or anything else like that. Um, so we're just going to take it as it comes and we'll see what we see and we'll uh, take you along the way, hopefully. So for now, we'll just spin you around and let you have a bit more look at this road. So it's absolutely stunning. Excuse the flies. Yeah, apologies. We still haven't washed the window. <laughs> But this road is really nice, it's nice and straight, fantastic views either side. That's a funny shape now. You know what that reminds me of? Really? Two things. A walnut whip and a peach melba. Right. Two things I kind of have. Right. So. Are you Hi, I'm buggered. Um, so we literally drove through. Um, where were we going? Um, block. No. Um, Glencore. So we drove straight through Glencore, we think. Um, anyway, we're now at uh, another little village further along the road. Um, Balakahuni, I think. I might have just made that up, I'm not sure, but I think it's Balakahuni. Anyway, we've stopped off here to try and use the local facilities. Um, they were closed due to vandalism, so we ended up in a coffee shop, which was fine because we had a coffee and a cake. Um, and use their facilities. There's also a small co-op uh, here as well, so we've managed to uh, freshen up on some. Um, we normally get the big bottles of water, so we can just use that for giving the dogs drinks and things like that. Um, they've been out for a run. Yeah, they've been out for a run on the... A there's a nice things, green yeah. out there, so we've had Brack and Chesney's ball around and getting them bred out a bit. And the Whitlands had a roll in the long grass and loved it. Oh, the grass was soaking with the dew and they've loved rolling about in that. Um, and also in the court we uh, topped up on uh, some um, cider for tonight, hopefully. Um, I think we're now going to have a drive along towards Auburn and just see where things take us. So we'll catch up, catch up with you in a little bit.
so we've just pulled up into a lovely nearby. Um, stunning views right across uh, Loch Leven. Um, here's access down onto that little bit of beach. We're actually considering this for a park up tonight. It is next to a main road there, but you are set back a little bit. To be honest, I don't think traffic will actually bother me, Joe, when I'm sleeping. Oh, we will head down, yeah. head down that path a little bit. The view across there is stunning. Oh, it's nice. Just in that shade in between these trees. Yeah, water's crystal clear as well. Absolutely stunning. I'll have a little potter along, along here. So the water is just crystal, nice blue. Stunning. There's our lucky, there she is. Plodding along it is absolutely crystal clear. Mm -hmm. All the seaweed. Then nice hairs across it all as well. Yeah. I just spotted a lovely castle on the lock. See if we can potentially park and walk to it or something. I think that says private. I don't know where. Ah. So just continuing our drive on to Auburn and obviously we came across this stunning site as well. I believe this is Castle Stalker and this part of the lock is Loch Lynn. I think, might be pronouncing that wrong or right, I'm not sure, but uh, looks quite nice. Can't really get down to it though, because there's obviously a bit of a farm field in front, but another nice, nice bit to look at. So we're just still just uh, driving and making our way to over and obviously we've had a couple of little stop offs and we've had the dogs out and letting them have a bit run around and a bit wander and fed and watered them. Now they're all shattered again. <laughs> We're both shattered, <laughs> ready for a lie down again. But I think Auburn's about another 10 mile or something from where we're at now. Um, that castle was nice. Yeah, you couldn't really get down to it though, can you? And so no. we're scoping out potential park ups just in case we need to come back this way to stop later on. Um, even the potential of a campsite. I've had a look on Park for Night and I don't think there's many park ups available um, that's any good for us with the dogs. So anyway, we're going to have a bit scope about. But first things first, we've had no dinner, so I'm determined to get a belly full of seafood before we do anything. So let's show you the road we're heading on. Yeah. I'm going to wash that window. Let's wash the windows. Flies. Yeah, it's probably no better. <laughs>
get another little stop off on the way to Auburn. <laughs> this short trip to Auburn's taken forever because we keep stopping off. Um, what? Do you want to know what? Where are you? There you are. There's another castle and the cell ice cream. That's why we can. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll just. We've parked up around the back of it. Um, I'll just swing around so that we'll get a better view. So we've got a nice shot over just the harbour as well. And we've got this. Now, I'm not sure what this castle is yet. Didn't really notice on the sign on the way in. Um, but sorry, spinning your own. Bracken's getting us in a knot. Bracken, this way. It's on his extender leg and he's running about. Yeah, so this one's quite a nice, nice castle. Once we find out the name of it. Again, a lovely shot right across the pier. Dunstaffnage Castle. Or does Dunstaffnig? I'm not sure. Bracken. Get in. Get in. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks really nice just sitting here. Here are all the birds. and get the perfect view of the castle from here anyway. Don't really need to go in. Kill me a bracken. <laughs> He's always pulling in this lead. Come here. Come here, your mum's coming out in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we've seen another sign for a castle. What were you saying? We're at Auburn and you cannot move for castles. That's what I thought. Too many castles. Let's have a mooch. There's the third castle. Let's go along here. You could not move for castles. That's a nice looking one though, isn't it? The ruins, especially on the edge of... Is it the lock or sea? Well, that's nice, a very nice beach to go down with the dogs. A lovely beach to go down with the dogs. Very accessible, isn't it? it off. I haven't got a clue where we're driving though, like we're just... Doesn't matter, let's just have a look. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely little village or town. This potentially could be the park up for tonight. So, here's the plan. Yep. Back towards the town and harbour. Yep. Get seafood. Yep. Come back along here a little bit later. Yeah. When people are potentially leaving in the cars, there's a few camper vans already there. There is. No. There is a little sign that's on the toilets that says no overnight camping. But, but not on the parking. There's signs. nothing on the parking signs. Nothing on the you know what, I bet it's the, one on the, the residence that's put yeah, that on. The one on the toilets is completely different. It's it's not like a park and sign, it, it's completely it's a separate different. separate little yellow it's sign. It's like it's just been knocked up. So yeah, I'm, there's nothing on the official council ones about parking. Yeah. And if you're disabled, you can park for free. Yeah, well, the parking charges was only between certain hours anyway. Yeah, but it didn't say that you couldn't park yeah, overnight. Yeah, and it didn't say no overnight parking. So, I potentially... I think the residents had put that up. 
Yeah, I think a lot of them cars is probably going to move on around about sort of, I don't know, six, seven o'clock or something. Yeah. And then that could be potential if we get right down the far end out the way of the house and stuff. It's lovely little Then I think we'll just... Go on that beach. Yeah, I think we'll potentially just park up there. Yeah. So, finally made it to Auburn. <laughs> finally, try and get some food. So it's three o'clock, still haven't had anything to eat. But uh, I'm going to get something now. So we'll have a bit look about. Want to just get parked up one of the side streets in uh, car park at the back. Thinking somewhere across there, Alison. Oh. Or across that side. That looks. Yeah, across over there. Back. Okay. okay. It's quite busy here at the moment. Yeah. A couple of guys down there painting a the boat. <laughs> yeah, so luckily the blind dog has got a bit of anxiety at the minute. So well, Alison's having to carry her. Um, yeah, so we're having to keep stopping every five minutes. <laughs> Just take a little bit of a break. So we're now back on the other side of the harbour. We've had to take the three little dogs back because it is literally just far too hot. Um, so we're now looking for something to eat. Uh, finally. I'm sure when I've seen other YouTube videos and tourist things, open fish food on the quay side is supposed to be fantastic. I've just, there's a little shack along the, the way there, just doing mussels and uh, I think I'd scallops, um, or literally fish and chips. So we're just having a little bit wander further along, but uh, I'll just show you around. Mediterranean seafood, Olive Garden. Is it a restaurant or do we eat outside? <laughs> do you want to have a say? <laughs> Kill me, you bracken. He's two years old. He's actually a lemon roan copper spaniel. Oh, really? Uh, everybody thinks he's a retriever. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that's exactly what yeah. that's my he he's a, he's a really rare colour for a, uh, for a Spaniel. He's soft as... he, he loves cuddles. Is that a It certainly is. Certainly is. Would you like to be on our video? <laughs> so, I finally found the food shack and we're order number four. Um, Cooked scallops in hot garlic butter. I have confirmed that it's just hot butter and not chilli hot butter, because Alison cannot eat spicy. But uh, this is supposed to be the shack that everybody goes to, and it's supposed to be really nice. So let's have a look. It's quite a queue for it. Dad's got a little place to eat as well. But we've got Brock and Morris and it'd be a nightmare there with everybody else's food. So Alison's managed to blag a seat across the other side. It's quite busy down here today. Obviously the weather's playing a massive part. It's a nice little harbour. So, finally got these. I ordered two, two lots of scallops with hot garlic butter. 28 quid for the two portions. The two portions is, it came with dry bread, two slices of tomato, 
one pot of chili sauce on mine and not on the other, some scabby bits of lemon. Where's the garlic butter? Right, exactly, where's the garlic butter? The, the lettuce, all rank lettuce, um, waited half an hour to get served. I'm sure they forgot because I asked two different people and they kept saying, yeah, five minutes, five minutes Turkish. I'm getting these, Alison cannot even eat them because they're just literally cooked. Bread. But I Half a tomato between one. two dry slices of bread. <laughs> so, you know what, I'm not even finishing that. You're not? So, that was 28 quid. That was an absolute waste, waste because they weren't nice. The service was rubbish. You worked about 40 minutes. And they weren't, nor even cooked very well. And it came from so, that green shack there. Yeah, and that's the shack that everybody is raving. It's been chock a block since we got here. So they must be doing something right, but obviously yeah. slipped up with ours. Right, so went back to that uh, food shack and I'm, nev I'm not one to actually complain. Uh, we are best of British and we tend not to complain, but that food was rubbish. And the length of time I'd waited and I had forgotten about it. Um, obviously, we had two plates, it was supposed to be exactly the same. There wasn't any hot garlic butter on either of them. Um, there was only one pot of chilli sauce between us. The bread didn't know it wasn't buttered or anything. The lettuce was absolutely rank. Um, but, in all fairness, I did go back and I did complain and within two seconds I had my money back. So, although I've waited 40 minutes for a food that wasn't very nice, I did get my money back without any question. I didn't actually go to get my money back, I just wanted them to know how I felt. But straight away they gave us the money back. Um, I will say in all fairness, it is packed. They do loads of uh, coop mussels and stuff. The mussels were getting served very quickly, uh, very professionally, and it looked like you got a bargain with the mussels and everything else. Um, all the dishes that were coming out did look really nice. Unfortunately, ours wasn't, um, but they are a popular place. There is a big queue for them, so they're obviously getting something right. So this might have just been a one-off. Um, but anyway, we're heading back to the van and then we're going to try and get that park up if we can. So, season a bit. So, we're back at that park up spot that we were sort of hoping we'd be able to stay there. The sign is mm, sort of clear, unclear, but there is loads of camper vans currently here and the beach is still packed. So I think we're just going to play it by ear and see what other people do. Um, if we need to move on, we can move further along the road. There's a bit of a park up just at the side of the road. It'll do for overnight. Um, currently where we are is, this is the view from the back of the van. Um, obviously, really nice beach. So that's spot on. And we've got And as you can see, our Bracken has been in the water, <laughs> trying to learn him how to swim. Must be the only dog in the world that doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> and yeah, do you not know how to swim? It's shocking, I know it is, son. You should have been born with the instinct. Not there. So anybody who's been watching our uh, videos will, uh, will have seen the, the infamous paddle boarding expedition. Um, and how much hassle it was to get it physically blown up because that was hard work. Anyway, I've got a fix for that. And it comes in the form of an electric pump. So I am going to try paddle boarding again, just out here. Um, I've got very little hope of me being standing up on that paddle board and more a case of me being kneeling on the paddle board or underneath the paddle board in the water. Um, but I am going to give it a go, it's a really nice day out of each, mad to miss out. 
when it's so nice. Um, there's other people about who's got paddle boards and a couple of people just pulled up with kayaks and things like that. So yeah, catch you in a bit. I think Alison might video just from the back of the van. Um, we'll see how things go. This will be interesting. That's blown up a lot easier than the last time. You it didn't blow it up the last time. <laughs> Grim. <laughs> What's he doing? Was you have any impressions of a blown his thing off? Get down. I'm dizzy just doing that impression. <laughs> anyway, that's blown up. It's got about 10 psi at the minute. We right. need. 15 for flotation of something of this caliber. <laughs> I am going to leave my t shirt in in the water because there's a few people about and they'll all be wondering how come all that meat and no gravy. <laughs> Stay. Do that pumping up. on the beach, paddle boarders, people in dinghies. Looks like they've all had a good day. There he's there. Rock and lie down. Good boy. Watching him. No, oh, he's fine. He's fine, Bracken. Oh, he's on. He's on. <laughs> he's on. And he's aware. Better than last time. He was determined to do it today. And we just happened on this beach and he liked the look of it. And like Andrew said, he got the electric pump. I'm pleased about that. And he's doing great. I'm sure Andrew was born with flippers. He loves anything to do with the sea. Oh, oh my god, he's gonna go to the sand and up, he's gonna end up in the drink. Is he? Is he daring to? Is he daring to? Oh my god, oh my god. Is he up? Is he up? No one is in. And he's in. Oh, oh, that's quite shallow. He's trying again. He's trying again. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's in. <laughs> I think this is going to be an ongoing saga. You cannot knock the guy for trying.
he's going to be knackered when he comes back. <laughs> He's going for it again. Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't look good. Stay on your knees. He's exhausted now, I can tell. And he's off. Oh, and he's gone under. And he's back on his knees. He looks like he's one with nature. And he's off. Determination. Yeah, we said he's a stump man. The careers officer at school asked Andrew what he wanted to be, and his answer was a stump man. He's aware. Where is it? Look at them stunning legs. Try again. Bracken's getting excited because you can see him coming back. You did really well. Bracken, no. Get in. Get in. Get in Bracken. In. In. You must be knackered. Yeah. Stand up there like a pro. <laughs> you must be so tired. You know what? I really enjoyed that. Did you? Oh, yeah. I well, knew then, you were determined to do it. The problem I've got is I can't I can't stand on my feet and touch the board. Yeah. So I sort of get one leg up, but it was a little breeze and having the wetsuit on, so I wasn't as restricted with that. Yeah. But I managed to get one leg on, and I thought, I'm going to want this. And then just as I brought the other one up, I couldn't keep all the board, so I had to let go of the board, and then I was off. But I tried a few goes. But you were better on your knees. Yeah. Um, when I first turned on my knees, it's really tiring, like on, on your thighs. Yeah. And obviously their muscles are even used very yeah, much. Yeah, and you will, you'll be um, tired. And then there was one bit where I thought, I'm going to have a rest. I'm going to sort of stride it. Didn't realise how wide that board is. <laughs> For your little legs. And I only split myself right up the middle. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not mad that mistake twice. <laughs> so it was nice just to be in a little bit of shallow water and just sort of sit on the board sideways. And just float for a bit to catch my breath. I saw that, but you looked defeated at one point. No, and then got back on the board. And once you start paddling, I mean, obviously I was on my knees, but yeah. Once you start paddling and getting up a little bit of speed, it's a lot more sturdy. Yeah. So it's actually better to go a bit quicker. Yeah. So obviously I paddled out. I was paddling out to the sunset. Not anybody noticed. I, I noticed. I lost you but a then few I thought, times. Oh, this is getting deep. So oh I really? <laughs> so. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I knew you were determined to do it today. So I'll either be going back out in a bit or tomorrow. Tomorrow. But if I come back out in a bit, I'm already wet. I do need some fresh water on my face and my arms up. So okay, I'm we'll come in then.
Now every time we do these videos from near a beach, Alison's always sitting on the beach looking for things. And she's been looking a bit today, and she's found something really, really interesting. Well, yeah. Let's show you. Best find ever. Best find ever. Let's show you. It's a Mercedes 200, I think. Is it submerged yet? Not quite. But somebody's parked it on the beach. The police have been down and put police tape round it. And it's now starting to go underwater. What I should actually do is put a time lapse on and we'll just watch it submerge. <laughs> I know, that's nasty. I'm not going to bother with the time lapse, but I will keep you up to date if it gets any deeper. <laughs> a couple of proper paddle boarders paddling out there to the sunset. What do you mean proper? I oh, know, Pet. I look, I look a right pro on there today. That was pro, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's two young'uns, well, I'm saying young'uns, 18, 19, maybe. They're just getting in the car. I don't know whether they're just rifling through it. Or whether it's that car. Well, them two young ones are still in the car, like, rifling it, probably. I've got the door open, they've had the windscreen wipers working. I don't know, I think it's their car, because I would have thought they'd at least had it started by now. I'm going to that car there because it's really spoiling me sunset shot. <laughs> well, um, we've had a fantastic day to day. Um, Alison, how's your day been? Busy but lovely. Look here, how's your day been, my darling? Hey, how's your day been? Are you shattered? Oh yes you are. I will nearly shattered. Daisy shattered. Just enjoy and watching out the weather. Bratton boy is knackered. And your son? Yeah. Are you shattered Bratton? <coughs> shattered. Here he is coming to say the last one. So I think this is where we end today's video. Just other stuff. <laughs> so I think the dear this is where I think this is the perfect time to end today's video yep. with that stunning sunset. Yeah. Says in the morning. Well, morning everybody, um, we are now on day four, day four, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> day, day four, day four. <laughs> so we've both done that, that's the uh, memory loss, so that beer where we stopped last night um, was absolutely fantastic, it was really busy during the day with uh, all the families down there, people were swimming, uh, there was a fantastic sunset, there was kids still playing in the sea till like 10 o'clock. Um, we stayed up the latest we have in many, many years. Many years. <laughs> so it was about half past 10 when we, <laughs> no, no, half past half 10. Past 10. <laughs> oh, we live like on the edge. <laughs> um, but absolutely fantastic, we had a, a great sleep. Beautiful sunset. Um, yeah, fantastic sunset really quiet um, there was another 12 camper vans there last night and, and about four tents had pitched up um, which was great we've obviously getting up this morning our plan today is to head down towards Loch Lomond again um, for a stopover at Loch Lomond and then head off home tomorrow um, we did 
pre-purchase a permit for Loch Lomond, so we've got our park up already organised. A £4.20? Yeah, a £4.20. Absolute bargain. So, yeah, we're just going to head along there and uh, we'll catch up with you as we get going. We do need to try and stop off and get a cup of coffee or something on the way. Um, because the van was a bit chaotic this morning, so we didn't bother making a couple this morning. But uh, yeah, so we'll catch you in a bit.